it's me Jenny, it's a random vlog, because oh, I have some really happy manic energy going on right now because um, uh, today was a day at work and then I went to the dentist and I've been nervous about going to the dentist for about three weeks, I've been like desperately flossing and brushing and trying to get my teeth like as good as I can get them and I was really 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 nervous about it because it's been a long time since my last dentist appointment and I turned up and everything's fine, there's nothing to worry about, I, I have not lost any teeth or got any uh, problems that uh, my dentist pointed out so I shouldn't have been so nervous about it but I was really 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 nervous about it and now I'm really relaxed so that's awesome um, and other than that I've just kind of had like a bit of a slump the last couple of weeks where I've been at work has been kind of busy in a way that I don't know I've just I felt really uh, at work I felt like I couldn't work out if I was really bored or really overworked and that isn't both of those things are negative things and I was kind of torn between those two concepts where I was constantly feeling like I had too much to do or too little to do and I genuinely couldn't place what the problem was with um, and this last couple of days I've finally started to eke my way out of it um, but most predominantly this afternoon where I finally tidied my room changed my sheets, my bedroom smells lovely um, I have hoovered my bedroom, I have had pizza um, I'm a little bit drunk, a little bit drunk I have some lovely manic energy going on because um, I broke out the rum and coke which is the kind of thing I drank when I was a teenager and it's been a long long time since I was a teenager um, but it was the only thing in my cupboard and I really I get a feeling like I always used to joke about being slightly OCD um, but I found recently probably in the last maybe month or so that I really might be a little bit OCD I find it very hard to relax nowadays um, if I don't get certain things organized um, and I think it, it, it part of it is having my own space and having my own kind of environment and having control at work about how things are run um, but I find it very difficult to focus at work until I've got like a certain number of things tidied up and sorted and then I can actually get on with like the meat of the day um, but until I've like sorted out certain things I get really stressed out um, and it's the same at home and I've, I've been because I've, I've been a bit stressed at work and a bit stressed at home like I've been neglecting a lot of things that I know actually help me kind of relax and so like my bedroom's been a mess and my bed has been a dump um, and I haven't been like part of living independently and trying not to spend money is I only have in my house what I actually want um, so I've been using up some old bath stuff and I've been using up some old moisturiser and hand moisturiser which are things that are gifted that are lovely but I never purchase them for myself and they're just kind of additional clutter um, and every time I use something up um, and I can make that like little gap in my life it makes me really happy um, and so I've been doing that and I've got through like my my sister gifted me from when she went to um, Sri Lanka she gifted me a bunch of really really nice tea but it was really nice to kind of get rid of it like consume it enjoy it use it because I'm, I'm very much not someone who throws stuff away but once I have consumed it and used it then I have like the nice empty thing where I just have the thing that I really want um, so I've got a bunch of I've got like three sets of moisturiser and two lots of hand um, cream to get through and then I have I can buy whatever I want um, and then I have um, uh, one set of tea bags to get through and what else um, I've got the bottle of depression vodka which I bought for a party my birthday party I think when I turned 25 and I'm now well into my 26th year um, and that bottle of depression vodka has been sat in my cupboard for the entire time and I kind of want to get rid of it because I'm not really a vodka drinker um, so it's just taking up space when I could spend money on something that I actually want to drink um, but I finally got rid of my depression Bacardi yay um, so that, that's been tonight's drink I have my glass down here <laughs> oh, it's quite strong <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm working my way through that and now I've got rid of another bottle from my cupboard so I have more space for things that I actually want in my cupboard. Um, what else am I getting rid of at the moment? I've been talking about this for a long time actually, the, the, the phasing stuff out of my life. I'm nearly through the last, like uh, like my pile of children's books, I could probably finish them off tomorrow if I actually focused and read the entire day, which I might do actually because tomorrow is my dad's birthday, happy birthday to my dad! Hey! Um, but we don't have any specific plans, I know he's got plans for the evening. Um, but I might just spend tomorrow snuggled up in bed, chilling out. My bed is so clean and tidy, my bedroom smells amazing. Um, yeah, I'm going to spend probably most of the day maybe getting through that and then I can be like 
done, cleared, and then I have a load of space on my chest of drawers, my bedside table, for me to put some new books. What? Yes! Um, and I'm working my way, what else have I got that I'm working my way through? Um, I've got some interesting teas that I want to get rid of so I can buy some stuff that I really really want. Like I kind of want to buy myself some more chocolate tea but I kind of just also want to stick to the basic tea for a while. Um, uh, yeah. I, this is probably the most rambly video I have ever done. I think it might be a record. I am all over the place. Basically, I'm doing a no buy month. Um, this is my second no buy month in a row, maybe my third no, second no buy month officially in a row. Um, and I did spend £200 on groceries and shopping and like cleaning chemicals at the beginning of the month, but I barely touched half of that stuff, so I'm doing okay. And we're on day 14, so I'm halfway through. Halfway through this month, I'm doing okay. Um, I've been to the dentist, I'm doing okay. Um, my car is functioning, I'm doing okay. I'm finally getting a like happy feeling about work, we're starting to go into the conference period now so um, the entire structure of work changes during the rush up to Easter um, which will be interesting and my shift patterns change, I do not have a weekend off for a month um, I still do have two days off a week but none of them are weekends um, for an entire month so that's going to be stressful but I kind of like being busy and I think I need to be busy and I think part of the reason why I've been stressed out at work is we've had a couple of lull periods where I haven't had enough to do to fill the boredom. Um, so I think I'm looking forward to being busy at work um, and hopefully that'll help get through that kind of the stress that I've been feeling there. Um, I am hopefully going to talk to my friend uh, Chris and sort out OBS because right now if I had OBS set up I'd totally do a tipsy stream. I'd totally play Drunken Skyrim Oblivigen. Oblivigen or Skyrimogen or Bacardi Resident Evil 4 I don't know, I, I, I play something with alcohol in the pun title um, but I can't because I haven't said it all up so I want to get that done um, I'm taking off things from my like actual life list um, I'm going to book a hygienist appointment because I want to improve my mouth um, hygiene that sounds really weird out of context this is going to be such a weird video to watch back um, I might keep it unlisted until I can watch it back when I'm sober. Um, yeah, so um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just ticking some things off my like long-term procrastination list. Um, so once I've done all those things, I will have so much space in my life for new things. So I want to start streaming again, I want to make some more videos. I've got a couple of little things hidden away for the Tours gift box, which I still haven't produced or sent, but I will. A happy birthday to Tor, it's her birthday. Um, and happy engagement, I know I've said that once but at least woo! Happy birthday to my dad, uh, what else is going on about in my life? Um, Dragon Heist is amazing, my DD group is the coolest group of dudes ever, um, my character finally got her animal companion and it was so amazing and so cute and I love him to bits. Um, what else is going on? Um, yeah, I am happy at the moment, I am slightly drunk. But I'm very happy um, and uh, probably my alarm's going to go off in like I've got five minutes before my dinner's ready tonight is a good night this is a vlog I'm going to end it before this turns into any more rambles if you manage to follow anything that I have said in the last like ten minutes you're a genius congratulations feel free to say in the comments that you are a freaking genius thank you for watching and I'll see you guys all hopefully pretty soon bye 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 bye